Welcome to Emergent Behavior in NetLogo, we call it a mini magnum opus. Uh, my name is Bob McLeod, I'm with com in computer engineering at the University of Manitoba. Uh, part one basically builds off of the Heroes and Cowards parlor game. It's an agent-based model in NetLogo that can be found in the book by Walensky and Rand. It's called Introduction to ABM uh, in the chapter two and uh, the it's discussed in chapter two and the code is in the NetLogo library that accompanies NetLogo. Uh, the rules of behavior are very simple and what I'm going to do here is much like the white rabbit, I will start at the beginning and proceed to the end then stop. So the rules of behavior are this, uh, everyone is assigned uh, a friend and an enemy and if they act cowardly they'll uh, move about to try to position their friend between themselves and their enemy or they'll act bravely and they'll try to position themselves between their friend and their enemy. So those are the, the two uh, modes of uh, behavior. Uh, the vanilla va uh, version, there's expected behavior, I would call it expected behavior. If everyone is acting bravely they tend to huddle and if everyone acts cowardly they tend to disperse. Added a slight little illustration how a visualization helps in understanding phenomena and it's sort of in reference to Mario Puzo's uh, The Godfather. So when everyone acts bravely, this is what typically happens. It starts out with a random configuration of a number of agents that you want in the simulation and they will tend to aggregate. aggregate. Uh, if you have a gender added, you might see some aggregation and some separation, more or less depending on the initial placement of the agents. Uh, an interesting visualization is if they act cowardly, uh, the, this would be the initial random uh, positioning of the agents. A uh, red link would represent a link to an enemy, a blue link, uh, a link to a friend. And after the simulation is run, all of the agents have dispersed and are in the, uh, the boundary of the environment. And the interesting thing here is the type of social distancing that sort of emerged because the majority of the lines that tend to traverse the screen are, are red and those are links to enemies which sort of means you've kept your enemies uh, further and your friends closer which is sort of the opposite of the godfather. Uh, anyway as an aside here's a, a picture of some snakes at Narcisse which is an example of emergence. Uh, every year tens of thousands of garter snakes gather at Narcisse snake dens in Manitoba and we actually consider that a tourist attraction. Anyway, part two is the introduction of order. It's a minor modification to the to the game of heroes and uh, cowards. Uh, in this case, as agents arrive at the party, their friend is the first person who arrived just prior to them, while their enemy is the person who arrived just after them. So very, very simple to set up. It makes it highly ordered. There's sort of two configurations, a circular buffer and then a queue. And I would say that the outcomes are quite surprising and arguably emergent. So these are what I consider the interesting scenarios uh, when everyone ends up looking like a, in a, in a, acting like they can be lined up in a circular buffer. There's you, the friend who arrived just previous to you, and your enemy who arrived just after you. And for lack of a better, better name I call it linear wrap. And then the queue mode where the first person to arrive and the last person to arrive are not connected at all. So here's uh, some simulation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let it run and hopefully you'll uh, see two different configurations that I'll run several times. One will be the, the circular buffer type of configuration and the other will be the linear wrap configuration. So this is the circular buffer and uh, quite interesting patterns. It looks like a knot that tends to unravel itself and uh, I would argue that that is somewhat of a surprising outcome. Uh, then I'm going to uh, switch over in a minute or two to the to the uh, linear no wrap which is also very interesting. It's the queue configuration and, and I would argue that it's also emergent behavior and somewhat surprising and hopefully somewhat interesting. So the patterns of, be of behavior, maybe it's like a conga line at a party but it is certainly not that easily predicted. At least I don't think it would be that easy to predict. So it just runs a couple more times and then it uh, ends. I think it'll run to there. Thanks for that part. And then uh, I just, this brings us to the end. I hope you found the demonstration a somewhat compelling example of emergent behavior, or at least somewhat surprising. Uh, thanks to uh, NetLogo's Yuri Walensky, the author of NetLogo. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, the model should be in the mo network, NetLogo Modeling Commons as soon as I figure out how to do that.